morning. Welcome to what I eat in a day. Welcome to my kitchen. Let me talk you through breakfast. So breakfast always starts with a cup of English breakfast tea. I'm mostly caffeine free, but I do love my English breakfast tea first thing in the morning. I'm gonna have that with some almond milk. Now, the tea bag has to be in the hot water for at least three minutes with no squeezing, just in case you're ever making a cup of tea for me. Used to be a full fat dairy girl, but no longer. Breakfast today is high protein, 0% fat yogurt from Faye. In the morning, I am really focused on getting as much protein into me because I tend to go up and down with my energy levels unless I have a really full tummy, so I am not the person who can ever skip breakfast. Then I'm gonna put some blueberries on the side. Now, I'm obsessed with blueberries. They are so chock full of skin-loving polyphenols. That's what gives them that gorgeous color, and they taste delicious with yogurt. And then I'm gonna go in with some almonds, and then I'm gonna do an Omega enriched seed sprinkle. All sorts of goodies in there, pumpkin seeds which are rich in zinc, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, all kinds of seeds. You could add a drizzle of honey for sweetness or for a little more fluidity, but I like it just like that. Before I tuck into my breakfast, I'm going to take my NMN supplements, so two tablets a day. It's a company called Charaba don't work with them, just like the supplement. NMN is nicotinamide mononucleotide, which essentially is a supplement that fuels our mitochondria. So in all our cells, we have mitochondria, they're the battery of the cell. And this has been talked about in the longevity circles a lot recently. I'll link to the video with Andrew Huberman and David Sinclair, which basically was the reason I ordered this. I'm liking this a lot. After I've had my yogurt, I will then take my vitamin D. I like the deluxe one. This is 3,000 units because recently I found out my vitamin D levels were a bit low, which is quite surprising because I'm quite outdoorsy, but nonetheless, I'm on this at the moment to get things back up. And it's best taken with fat. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. I do sometimes take an omega-3 um, supplement and I'll do that on days where I end up not eating any fish. And I like this one from Solgar. Because I'm a not great sleeper, a lot of the time I get very hyped up over the course of the day and then find it hard to switch off. I am into magnesium before bed, so I'm taking these orally at the moment. This is um, a capsule. And then I'll sometimes supplement, if I'm not feeling like taking the capsule, I use the spray from the new co. Um, I don't spray that on my chest because it contains a bit of lavender oil. My skin gets irritated by that, but I might spray it on my tummy, on my back, which are completely fine with essential oils. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast now. I'll see you at lunch. So if I'm working from home, I'll make my own lunch. And a lunch often looks a bit like this. So I'll start off with my carbohydrate, which is um, some sweet potato. And these are so, so good for you, which I feel slightly, you know, regretful saying that because I do love the white potato being from Ireland and all that. But these are full of fiber, so I keep the skin on, just wash them. They contain vitamins A, C, and E. So they are just packed full of goodness for your skin. And they also contain trace elements like manganese as well. I'm gonna roast these after chopping them up in some coconut oil and I'm gonna sprinkle on some lovely seasoning and also sumac. And I'll put a little bit of chili flakes on there as well for heat. And then I'm gonna serve that with some smoked salmon. I love Gravelax, it's sort of marinated in like mustard and dill. Um, really good source of omega-3s and protein. As I said, I'm really focused on getting my protein intake up. And I'm gonna do a little salad with some spinach and some avocado, again, more good fat. I'm gonna serve that with a tahini dressing. I am absolutely obsessed with tahini. Um, based on sesame seeds, um, with a little bit of lemon, olive oil, garlic, and a touch of maple syrup for sweetness. Mm, delicious. I'm also going to add a sprinkling of a seed mix, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids into my little salad situation. And to be honest, I get through jars of these. I have these pumpkin seeds, which are amazing to get your daily zinc requirements. I also have jars of nuts to hand at all times for snacking. So almonds currently, Brazil nuts, amazing for selenium. It's really hard to get enough of those trace metals in your diet without thinking about your diet consciously. So two Brazil nuts a day gives you your daily selenium requirements, don't you know? So 
I reuse these. I think they come from one of the pasta delivery companies. I just find them super helpful. Um, there's no waste. And yeah, I can keep my seeds and nuts to hand. Messy, but young. It's not really in the plan. So mid-afternoon, to revive me, I'll have a cup of ginger tea. I love the puck of three gingers. Can't really get enough ginger in my life, can I? And that will do me until dinner, and I usually make dinner around 6, 6.30. So it's dinner time, and I've had salmon for lunch, so tonight I'm having chickpeas as my source of protein. Absolutely love them, and roast with a bit of oil and just some simple sea salt. And I'm going to combine those with courgettes. I'm going to spiralize those full of vitamin C and just one of my favorite vegetables. Handful of greens, tonight I'm going for rocket. Some cherry tomatoes for that all essential vitamin C and lycopene. And a citrus oil dressing. Let's go. Might crumble in a bit of feta for extra flavor and protein. Absolutely love that combination with the beans. And yeah, that's a staple dinner for me. Chickpeas next. Now for some feta. And then I just crumble that over the rocket and the courgette. Then I'm gonna do a little seasoning. So some Malden, not too much because the feta is salty. And I've salted the chickpeas. A good grind of black pepper and then I'm going to do some extra virgin olive oil which is rich in vitamin E and then a good squeeze of lemon. I just catch the seeds in my hand. So that's it, really simple, quick to prepare but bursting with flavour and full of skin loving nutrition. Absolutely delicious.